do? <laughs> Bruce, Bruce uh, plays no games. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, sling it, sling oh, it, sling it. Ladies and gentlemen, for the next one week, Trey and myself are going to embark on a journey across the entire state of Florida, split into three areas with only $1,000 cash. So we're gonna challenge ourselves for the next week on a $1,000 budget, can we travel and experience the entire state of Florida and all the cool fishing experiences in between? <laughs> you gotta love that. Spam risk too, you gotta love it, spam risk. Area one, Tallahassee, starting here with Norm and then going to Jacksonville. Area two, Port St. Lucie to West Palm Beach to Miami, which is low key gonna be my favorite area, no doubt. Area three is gonna be Key West, the Everglades and Tampa. And we have tons of plans in between each of these areas to get some of the coolest, most insane Florida fishing content. The ultimate goal of this trip, target the most sought after species in the state of Florida, locations, and all the experiences the entire state of Florida has to offer. So for the next seven days, we burn the ship. Let's go. Dude, let's go. We got one. It's not a giant, but it is a snakehead. Where are these fish from? Indonesia? Indonesia. Wow, dude. Not a dino or not a dragon, but such a sick fish. Yeah, it's still a he nice smashed fish. it. Yeah, look at the colors on the side right there. Beautiful. Those white spots. We need to wash them off. Yeah, yeah. but this one's not. Yeah, that false eye right there on the tail, dude. You got to tighten up in the gill? Oh, uh, tight. Well, let's go, bro. <laughs> Snake That's boat. what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. What an alien, just creature fish. This Absolutely. Is, huh? I love the little white scales yep. that kind of outline the black yep. patches. And then we got false the false eye here for those that don't know. False eye is just like any other fish. It's just to throw off predators. Yep. They They'll can smack the tail, tail instead of them. Yep. 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 Smack the frog. They got those weird fins up here. Help them walk on land. Yeah. They, it's yeah. like these fish literally can live out of water for like 72 hours. I mean, it's just insane. It's They're just so tough. I don't even know how to explain so it. Yeah. That's so crazy. What a good catch, dude. Stacks literally put us on like five minutes like it's so sick bro made it happen as usual trey caught one i broke off on one missed a couple they're just not super fired up right now so it is what it is a little bit later in the year they love hot weather and hot water it's just not quite there yet but uh nonetheless we did get one we targeted it stacks held next time we'll get crazy ones 10 pounds yes, and all dude, yes bro go. yes nice catch my boy we gotta make our way to the keys before we lose some daylight Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number three of Burn the Ships, the final episode here on this full Florida Sin. Make sure you check out the episodes one and two if you have not already. We are here in the beautiful Florida Keys, the most sought after beautiful destination in the entire state of Florida. We're here at Robbie's. We're gonna go hand feed some really, really big fish, eat a very good dinner because we just wrapped up about a couple of hours ago, just wrapped up episode number two. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch it. But with that said, let's go feed some big fish. You guys can't get none, huh? All right, let's see what you got, Trey. Ooh. Which one do I want? Any of them. Here you go, buddy. Ooh. Dude, these fish are so crazy. Oh yeah, look at the short. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Hand feed the shark, hand feed the shark, no way. <laughs> Dude, those are the most savage pelicans I've ever seen in my life. I've hand fed these tarpon here for like the past five years. At least once or twice a year I come down here. The, and I've never had the pelicans just like mob up on me and steal my stuff. The like very that. first time I was here, I got my hand freaking almost chewed off by a Right pelican. under that, but they've got the, the little net stuff right there now. That was crazy. Anyways, now that we've hand fed some absolutely massive, giant, trophy Florida fish. Let's go get some food. Start off area number three, right? So going over the budget for this entire series, if you haven't been following along, if you haven't seen episode one or episode number two, we're traveling the entire state of Florida in one week with a $1,000 budget split into three different areas. Area one, Pensacola, Tallahassee, Jacksonville. Area two, South Florida. Area three is the Keys to 
the Everglades all the way up to Tampa. Now Area 3, what we're in right now, Episode 3, Area 3, this is gonna be the biggest, longest distance travel and most likely the most expensive. Area 2 came in clutch because our friend Bobby at Bass Fishing Productions actually let us stay at his house so we didn't have to pay over $200 a night for a hotel or sleep in the truck because either one we wouldn't have been able to do. Could have slept in the truck if we had to. But going over the budget as of right now, it looks like we're gonna have roughly $278 after this dinner because there's gonna be a little bit more. There was a $1,000 budget, three areas, that would be $900. So we left ourselves a $100 kind of free for all, if that makes sense. So we've got about $278 and about two days left to make sure we can film everything and fish, travel, gas, food, uh, sleeping, Anything you could think of is included in this budget. $278, a couple days left on this trip. Dude, we're in there. We're cruising here in the beautiful Everglades in South Florida, looking for a spot to pull off and fish, and we just saw an absolute dinosaur. You guys have to look at this. You have to check this out. We passed this thing going about 70 miles an hour and it looked a little bigger <laughs> when we passed it. But that right there, I mean, that's a dinosaur. And we're looking here in the water. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but there's literally a thousand gar right here. Oh, there's big. Yeah, we're about to go grab a rod and see if we can catch one of these things. All right, I'm gonna be rigging up one of the brand new Guggen crappie jigs. And one of the brand new little two and a half inch snacky swimmers. They're just snack size. Fish can't resist them. You know what else can't resist them? Using code YAKPAC on googansquad.com and you yourself could secure some snacky swimmers or anything else. We was cruising down this canal and we, we seen a big gator we stopped to pull off and we looked down at the canal and there was just hundreds of these Florida spotted gar. Look at the teeth. Native, native fish, he's thrashing around. He smells terrible. We're about to get him back. Oh my gosh, dude. There's so many different species in these canals here in the Everglades. It's tarpon, snook, big, large mouth. I mean, anything you could think of is down here. Oh my gosh, it's got me in something. Oh, don't worry. What was you on right there? You was bent. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it. I don't know. There's, it's, I don't know. I know in these canals, there's been people that have called massive snook, massive tarpon really really big largemouth because i mean think about this the bass any fish out here could just get so big because they have everything they need to get big out here and not a lot of people travel this way to fish so i have no idea bro god that makes me so that's tough my man what up dude I heard, I heard y'all over on my side of town yes sir not far from it Okay, let me hear it. There's a legend by the name Shiner Sam. Shiner Sam. You can on the street, and he's got a whole wolf pack of like 15 pounds. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. Oh, dude, I'm so down. Dude, bro, 15 pounders? Jigging just come through with the plug. We just left the Everglades. The fishing was kind of underwhelming there. I mean, we saw some really cool alligators, cool wildlife. I hooked something really big. They ended up losing it. We caught two gar. I thought that we were going to be able to catch like a ton of other different species. I don't know if it's the weather. I, I have no idea. I mean, it's Florida fishing. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. But we're sitting here literally rigging up right now to go just find a random place to go fish near here. Jiggin calls me. I just threw something up my uh, Instagram story. Jiggin saw it. He calls me and just plugged us up to be able to go hand feed 10 to 15 pound largemouth. So looks like we won't be needing these. Nope. Not as of right now. So not every day you get the chance to go see, <laughs> like put your eyes on a 15 pounder. I've never seen, I've never seen, I don't even think I've ever seen an actual 10 plus pounder in real life, in person. I've seen like eights and nines. One. Have you? Yeah, I've caught yeah, one. Yeah, dude. That right, was a well, long time ago. Yeah, so it's, been, it's been a little minute. It's been a little minute. It's been a little minute. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go hand feed some fish. He just dropped me the pin. We'll see you guys there. Faster than bigger bad days, they pretty much uh, take all the bait. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Right there, 
off the little dock. Oh, oh, oh. Give me another one. Oh, that was a big one. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give it a little toss. Found a hotel for $48 last night. This is the final day. We're uh, in Tampa. We're headed out tonight to end the series. We're at a canal. I have no idea. We're gonna do some jumping around and see if we can find us a uh, some snook, tarpon, largemouth, redfish, really anything we can bite. I am extremely outside of my comfort zone being on this side of Florida. Uh, I've been here, I think, once my entire life. Never come over here to fish. So, swinging for the fences today. We'll see what we get. Well, we found ourselves at what appears to be a nice looking golf course. Is there big bass in here? We don't know. But we're about to find out. Oh, let's go. I knew he was gonna be there on the brush. Sitting right there on the brush. Right hanging out of these trees. I knew he was gonna be there. Calling my shots, baby. Big, 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 big. Took a long time to finally get on that bite, but we finally made it happen here in Tampa. Good fish, three and a half, four pounder. First fish of the day. Ate the blazing worm. It's getting late in day three. And I think the only thing holding us back from a snook or a tarpon is some sort of flotation. And unfortunately with a thousand dollar budget, we only got about a hundred dollars left, hundred twenty dollars left. The budget just isn't gonna allow us to rent any kayaks, buy any kayaks, nothing like that. So I think that might be holding us back from, from the salty critters. Um, but we're, it's not over yet. We still got about two hours of sunlight. We're on the hunt though, for a bass over five pounds. Oh boy, that's big, that's big. <clears throat> I just walked through the mud to clean off this beautiful fish. Such a big old fat bass. Beautiful, dark green, thick. I mean, look at the tail. Look at the mouth. Take a peek at them shoulders. That right there is what we're after. The elusive five pounder. Well, ladies and gents, sun's going down. We've only got like probably 30, 45 minutes left of daylight. We're about to get on the road real quick and uh, catch up with you guys here in just one second. Ladies and gentlemen, we just spent $42 on gas, and with our dinner tonight being Arby's with coupons, that's pretty much going to exhaust the rest of the entire budget. Hopefully we can make it from here to Pensacola in one day. Yeah, yeah, we've got to go from basically what would be considered Central Florida, Tampa, all the way to Pensacola on a tank of gas because we have no more money because we spent all our money on this trip. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially made it back to Pensacola Beach where we initially started our journey. And what an insane past seven days this has been. Coolest thing I've ever done so far. Uh, so just a little quick trip recap. We put 2,107 miles into this trip on, on Trey's truck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and split into the three different areas. If you're not familiar with uh, the whole series right now, we've got area one, episode one, area two, episode two, and then this is the grand finale. So area one, we spent $228. Huge shout out to Fishing with Norm for letting us stay with him. That saved us a lot of money on hotel and just gas and all that other kind of good stuff. And he put us on some really awesome fish here at Lake X. Uh, area two, which was my favorite area, hands down. It's the one I was most familiar with. I lived down there in South Florida for the longest amount of time, or I lived down there in South Florida for almost four years. And it, just personal opinion, don't get any better than that. Area two was $398. Huge, huge shout out to Bass Fishing Productions. Bobby and his parents for letting us crash at his place Woo! for Back two nights. Yeah. Back <laughs> Hell yeah. Yep, huge shout out to Bobby for letting us stay with him for two days. Uh, I do not believe that we would have been able to be in the budget if we had to have stayed in a hotel. And that's what we were trying to do. We were either either going to be sleeping on a beach or winging it and trying to get in touch with friends. Uh, and it just so happened to we worked out with Bobby, which is really awesome. Love that kid to death, man. He's, he's a really good dude. So 
like I said, area two, $398. Area three, $334. Now, on our way from area two to area three, we did end up staying in a hotel. Uh, we couldn't find anywhere to sleep. There were signs that said like you couldn't sleep on the beach and the Keys in certain spots that I'd planned on sleeping at. And I was like, okay, well we're down here in the Keys, let's just go grab a hotel room really quick. No, $700 a night plus down there in the Keys because of spring break and all that. So we ended up staying in one right outside of the Everglades. And that's when Trey decided to eat a hotel breakfast that we thought was included and was not and it was uh like six, it was 64 dollars it was a 64 dollar breakfast uh and i got to eat some scrambled eggs and two pieces of bacon for 64 dollars so that put us on a very very uh what's the word i'm looking for tight limit. tight yeah it's, it, it really stretched the budget very very far once that 70 dollar breakfast hit that breakfast alone really kind of screwed us over for the third area i mean you you think about how far 70 dollars can go and that just took a lot, it just took it out of us, man. So it put us in a situation where we had to stay in one of, if not the sketchiest hotel that I've ever stayed in. And you're not talking like Motel 6, you're not talking about a Super 8, not talking about a Red Roof Inn. This was called like the Tampa Bay Inn or something like that. I mean, it was sketchy. Our door did not even close. Like it didn't even close. We had to latch it and put stuff in front of the door just so nobody could come in while we were asleep. So in total, 2,107 miles, $960 is what this trip cost. So we completed the challenge, one week, $1,000 around the entire state of Florida. Now, I want you guys' feedback down in the comments section. If you guys wanna see me and Trey maybe try like a 10 day, $2,000 or something along those lines in Texas or California, kind of the same type deal that you just watched on this whole three video series, let me know, we'll make it happen. But with all that said, I love you guys very much. Hope you guys enjoyed the series as much as me and Trey enjoyed filming it. We'll catch y'all on the next one.